for sure what it is. I'm back there. This night. This night. I don't know. About a year ago. I had a Cali. Prime Mon. Cali. We had a. We're all drinking the other side around us. We're all drinking down the. Oh, actually, we were drinking the way out for the first. That's exactly what year it was. It was 1999. 1999. Right? 1999. Tell me, old fella. This night. Exactly this night. Count the years up your side, I don't know. I know the count them. But in the old trailer I was drinking. In the old trailer I was drinking. Cali Sarah and the Blackguard. Cali Sarah and the Blackguard. Paddy Fay fueled boxes in the remote or slaps or tums or whatever. He let him go with it. He hit the Hurgis for the kidneys. Same thing again. I was sitting there flying around my head and just. I wasn't looking for trouble. I was just, just out with an old crack, you know, and driving. But he hit me a box or a slap, whatever. And I said, Paddy, do not do that again. And then. <coughs> That time he was kissing Jam Lover's arse. That's the time he was kissing Jam Lover's hole. As a Cali, he said, do not do that again to me, Cali. If you do it again, I'm going to flatten you. So you do it one more time, I'm going to flatten you. He did. He lifted his hand again. So as he, he didn't get any chance to hit me second time. So as he lifted his hand, I hit him a box straight into the mouth. There you go. That was it. Out, I said, look, outside the door, outside, come on, there's no point fighting the old trailer, I said, scrap the old trailer, outside, outside the door. Now, Maxine, see you with your humpy back out in Warren Point. Maxine, Maxine, see you with your humpy back out in Warren Point, right? See, and I asked him over a fair fight, right? He started, he started, he was the blackguard, he was the fun of his bait and the fun of the trailer, because he was kissing Jam Lutter's hole, as I said. He's kissing Jam Lutter's soul. He's getting Jam Lutter to do everything for him. Get the double charges stopped, whoever. Listen. When I walked outside, Maxine, when I walked outside, to me it was only a fair fight. To me it was a fair fight. Back then we didn't use knives. You know I mean? Back then there was no talking knives. Just when we walked outside, I took off my old t-shirts. That look. Let's get, let's get over my numbers. What what happened? What happened? Maxi with the humpy back. Maxi with the humpy back out my mind. Maxi with the humpy back. Passed him a carpet knife without me seeing it. I didn't even see if I seen him pass the carpet knife I would I would have I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get the cut. My Aunt Margaret, Gearbooks is Margaret. She seen it. She showed us his lofty watch or something. He's a knife. I knew, like, you know, Margaret, when Margaret said something, she wasn't going to put me in wrong, you know? I knew it, I knew he had a knife. He turned, he, he came towards my face with a, a carb knife. He didn't get me in the face, he got, so, so I had no choice but the, the walls inside that time was six foot walls, we got six, six foot walls. So I turned, from Patsy's pitch, turned back, and, Run towards George Town switch, and the wall is about six foot. I cleared the wall. It's just it's like breaking into the yard. I jumped the wall like it was like jumping. It's like jumping over an old bit of an old fence. You know? I cleared it that quick. And he was behind me with a carp knife, but he got me before I got out over the wall. He he got me from the top of my shoulder right down eighty stables, Caddy. Eighty stables. That's all I forgot the one. But as I said to you, that's all I forgot the one. But you were a bigger yellow belly that you would you wouldn't come out and throw a couple of thumbs. You're baiting the other fellas in the face, but I wouldn't let you bait me in the face. That's why I got that cut that night. That's why I got that cut that night, Kelly. Was your yellow belly? Ted was there. You were there. Patsy was there. It was nothing to do with them. But you were the yellow belly.